Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. This time we're taking a look at the picture settings for the Philips 50 PFT 6550 Full HD TV. Now the first thing you need to do to enter the picture settings menu is to press the home button on the remote control. You then go down to the bottom to the settings sub menu here and select picture. There is a shortcut menu but it doesn't then give you access to all the picture settings that you want so you need to do this to get all the picture settings that you need. Uh, first things first, picture style, so you can see there's lots of options here, but we recommend selecting either ISF day or ISF night. Basically you can use the ISF day to create a brighter setting for watching TV during the day, and then there's ISF night for a, a less bright setting for watching TV in the evening, when you don't want it too bright because it can be fatiguing for the eyes. Next up, colour. Leave that as default setting of 50. Contrast. Now this is actually the backlight control, uh, confusingly called contrast here, which is not really appropriate because there's another control that's also called contrast. Backlight would have been better, but anyway, this is the backlight control. Controls the overall brightness of the TV. It's a very bright TV, so we found setting it to 20 gave us uh, more than enough brightness to watch TV in the evenings. Sharpness, we turn that down to zero. And then picture format over here, you have the option of uh, fill screen or fit to screen. Use fit to screen, that means it will match high definition content to the high definition panel. There won't be any scaling introducing any artifacts. And then in the advanced settings, if you're gaming, you can select the game mode, which obviously reduces the input lag. Otherwise, we have color, uh, color temperature. Uh, if you're not using the custom settings we've got here, you can use warm. But if you want to use the custom settings when we calibrated this TV, you'll find them in here. And that's 127, 90, 72, minus 7, 0, and 1. Color control, uh, this is the color management system, but we actually found it didn't work when we were calibrating the TV for the review, uh, so we recommend leaving it alone. Contrast. Uh, contrast mode, turn that off. Same for perfect contrast, turn that off. Brightness, leave that as default setting of 50. Video contrast, this is what's normally called contrast, and we set that to 90. Turn the light sensor off, and for this TV, we chose a gamma setting of 1. Sharpness, uh, we, turned, we turned off super resolution, we turned off noise reduction, and also MPEG artifact noise no reduction. Um, if you've got a particularly noisy source, you could try using these, but for good sources, we just leave them off. And then finally with motion, uh, perfect natural motion, we turned it off. If you're watching film content or dramas, always turn this off. Um, if you're watching sports, you might want to try it, see how it works. We always recommend turning both this and clear, mode, clear LCD off if you're watching film-based content, otherwise it makes it like video, basically. And that's it for the picture settings for the Philips 50 PFT 6550 Full HD TV. Don't forget you can find reviews at adforums.com forward slash reviews. And you can also find videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.